The Filipino Catholic traditions were virtually invisible in Santa Clara County during the early 70s. Back then, the only ethnic masses being offered by some parishes were being said in Spanish language. But as their population increased, Filipino Catholics gradually found a platform to express their spirituality through their rich religious and cultural traditions. In 1982, Bishop Pierre Dumaine, aware of the large population of Filipino Catholics in the Diocese of San Jose, established the Office of Filipino Ministry with Father Ben Manding as its first director. Since then, this ministry has united the Filipino Catholics of the Diocese through their celebrations of Filipino religious and cultural traditions. Gradually, some parishes established their own Filipino parish councils, leading their members in different pastoral, religious, and multi-social events and activities. Eventually, Masses in Filipino language became a part of Sunday schedule in many of these parishes. In the spring of 1982, the Filipino Corsillo Movement held its first meeting at the Most Holy Trinity Church in San Jose. The mission was to create small groups of Christians that will evangelize their environment with a gospel message. This movement continues to thrive until the present times. Towards the end of the decade, several Filipino religious traditions became more visible and have added colors in celebrating each liturgical season. The Simbangkabi or Misa de Gallo, a devotional nine-day series of Masses practiced by Filipino Catholics in anticipation of Christmas, has become a yearly tradition in many parishes. The Sinulog, or Santo Niño Festival, is an annual cultural and religious festival held on the third Sunday of January. Sinulog is held in celebration of one of the country's most famous historic relics, the Santo Niño de Cebu. Although a regional fiesta in the Philippines, this festival has become a favorite among many Filipino Catholics from the different regions of the country. The Feast of Our Lady of Antipolo is another regional fiesta with devotees coming from the different regions of the Philippines. This feast is celebrated from May to July of each year. Good Friday is now highlighted by processions with statues commemorating the Stations of the Cross. This has now become a yearly sight in the streets of this county as practiced by several parishes. At dawn on Easter Sunday comes the Salubong, another street procession celebrating the meeting of Jesus with the Blessed Mother right after His Resurrection. The Santa Cruzan is the ritual pageant held in the month of May. It honors the finding of the true cross by Queen Helena of Constantinople and Constantine the Great. This has started to gain popularity among several parishes with large Filipino members. The Feast of Philippine Martyrs has been gaining momentum among Filipinos in this diocese and is being held with a movable date in September. While Filipino religious celebrations tend to have flamboyant pageantry, what runs deep within those traditions is the Filipinos' longing for connectedness with the sacred, something that gives them a sense of meaning and purpose in a foreign land they now call home.